Why is Black Friday called Black Friday? And why are we not participating? Let's talk about that. I'm Houston. I'm Titus. I'm Leavon. I'm Elijah. From Tennessee. Good mythical morning. Good mythical morning. This episode is brought to you by the Redlink community. Go to redlink.com, click on Beast, and then find yourself in a wide world of awesome things that happen that I'm actually afraid to be a part of. Well, you should. Because it's related to me and it's related to you. No, and you just, no, I feel a little no, weird. About you it. go over there all the time. You're going over there right after this. Yeah, I am. Okay. You're not afraid I don't of feel it. weird. I feel flattered. And thanks for contributing to forums, communities, pictures, all, all types of great stuff. It's awesome. It's also. I endorse it. Bl- also, Black Friday. And listen, Link, you know what's happening right now? <clears throat> people are shopping. People are getting all. No, no, no. People up, are worked push, up. Pushing on each other. I want that thing. And then. Let me get that Xbox. Is Xbox not even nobody cares about that right now? But you know, but yeah, let me get that Wii U. I'm gonna push the cap in your head. <laughs> that kind of thing. You know, that's what's going on right now. How much are they going for? I'm, I'm a little interested in that. But yeah, I mean, I just it, I'm it, on the sidelines. It's like it's like they become people become animals just to get a deal, and it starts earlier and earlier every and year. And some of you are watching on your phones right now, and you're like in some line, and you've got a big pile of stuff in a cart, and you're you're giving people the evil eye and you're looking at people's stuff and you're thinking about stealing it and you're don't do it using weapons and stuff and it's no listen let's, um, let's keep it clean i'm gonna i i know why they call it black friday and because i've been doing some research actually well somebody else did some research and then i just read an article oh really that's pretty much what our research comes down to and well that's okay you don't have to admit that and uh, we've got a link to this uh, article in the description. Why? So yeah, I I actually have thought about that. Why is okay. it called Black Friday? Why do you think it is? And then I'll give you the real reason. Well, I t- I knew that you were going to tell me, so I wasn't going to come up with a theory and sound like an idiot. Why not just guess? I'll get you some. Um, I'll get you. I'll get you a Wii U if you. <laughs> I'll, I'll go kill someone to get a Wii U if uh, if you if you, okay. if you guess correctly. Um, Black Friday. Uh, I really don't know because it starts at night before the sun even comes up. So it makes you feel safe to go out in the dark because it's, well, how can it be Black Friday if it's during the day, right? So it has to start in the dark when it's black outside. That's an interesting theory. Horribly wrong. But actually, it's funny because um, I've never looked out my window, by the way, and said, look, it's black outside. (laughs) (laughs) It would be called Dark Friday. Yeah. So there goes my theory. Am Uh, I right? No, you're not right. because I don't, I don't even think they started doing it like before the sun came up. I think that the the time has moved earlier and earlier and earlier over the year. Daylight I savings think back time. Back in like the '60s, the when cumulative it, effect of daylight savings time. Right when it when it started, they just it was just in the morning. Well, here's the reason. Oh. Okay, first of all, a lot of people will say, and you will hear this said. In fact, this has become the accepted reason for why Black Friday is called Black Friday. Whisper and, it to me, and I'll say it. No. And that is because this is when retailers get into the black. In other words, they have a profit. They've been in the As red. As opposed to the red. They've been in the red, they've been in a deficit, and now they're gonna make a profit, they're gonna get into the black. And that is what a retailer will tell you now because it sounds cool and it sounds like it makes sense. And, well, and it sounds like you're doing something for them. Oh yeah, I'm gonna go out and shop this day because it's gonna help them get in the black. You know, I want good old Kmart to be in the black, not in the red. I'm doing this for you, Kay. Well, it's not. It, it hasn't. It, that's what the re- the stated reason is now. But it actually, before it was called Black Friday, for why it's called Black Friday now, it was in the '60s in Philadelphia. Uh, but basically, what they used to do is they would all the retailers, and this is across America. Uh, the retailers would have Thanksgiving Day parades. It wasn't just like a Macy's thing, but it was just like your department store in your town would have a Thanksgiving Day parade. And Mm. then then the last float on the Thanksgiving Day parade is, of course... The Black Friday float. (laughs) Santa Claus. It's the Christmas float. It's Santa Claus. Yeah. And when when the Santa Claus float came out, that was the beginning of the holiday shopping season. And he wore a black suit. No. So what ended up happening is that, especially in Philadelphia in the in the in the '60s, is that there would be all these people in town to shop. But then there's they would have the Army Navy football game on sat that, that Saturday, and so they've got this Friday in between there. There's all these people in town. All the cops and all the taxi drivers are having to worry about all these people. 
And now all of a sudden the retailers start doing this sale. And so it would be super congested and it would be a headache for everybody. And so they just call, they started calling it Black Friday. Like they hated it. Yeah. It had a negative connotation. Yeah. And so, and then of course they were just like, well, you know, let's come up with a better way to, to, to uh, come up with why it's called Black Friday. And the retailers were like, let's not have to tell this story about Philadelphia. Let's just say it's because it's when we're trying to get into the black. That's what this guy on the internet said. Which, take, by take the it way, or leave it. By the way, neither explanation is as riveting as I, w I was hoping that you would give Because me. you get up early and it's still dark. That my, uh, yeah, let's just go with mine. I mean, at least it's, at least it, you can't it, just it doesn't make, make it more up. sense. I guess you can make it up. That's kind of what they did. But I, what I want to talk about is the fact that neither of us are going to participate we're in not, Black Friday. Well, we're not participating. And, I've already decided. And I'm deciding currently. I do not believe I have ever shopped on Black Friday. I, I went one year, and just for the f fluke of it, I said, you know what? I never go out on Black Friday. I'm just going to do it. I'm just going to I'm gonna see. And I remember going to Crabtree Valley Mall in Raleigh, North Carolina, the biggest mall in the biggest part of Wake County. <laughs> and the, I think the, that's what they call themselves. Biggest parking lot. And I could not find a parking parking space. Mm-hmm. And that was horrible. You just went home. And then I, you know, I sent Christy in, and I just kept, I just kept trolling, kept tro like a, like a fisherman. <sighs> what my motor sounded like. Were you, were you dragging something on the ground, <laughs> trying to catch shrimp? <laughs> I was dragging a cinder block behind the, behind my car. I, I never got out of the car, man. It was just bedlam. Man. I'm just really. I, in general, I, I am so averse to shopping. N by by in no way am I going to try to go out on the on the worst day of shopping. I can't go out shopping in general and have a good feeling about it. Even if I'm if even if there's nobody there and it's it's not even about the people. Shopping is just a horrifying thing for me. Really? Why? Th this is kind of well, I don't I I don't know the exact why's, but I do know the symptoms. I know that from the moment I step into any shopping zone, be it a mall, shopping zone. be it a mall, be it a store, be it a parking lot or anything, it's as if I have one of those power meters that you see on like uh, video games, like video games, like, like Street Fighter. Power They've meters. got like a power meter over the I top. Think they call it health bar. Every health meter. Every time you get hit, it's like doop doop doop. It goes down. Yep. From the moment I step into a shopping zone, my meter just starts doop 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 ticking away. Yeah. It's just like literally life is being sucked out of me to be in a shopping place. It's dramatic. And there's lots of men like this. I mean, if you ever walk down a mall. You see that they have they have like chairs positioned outside of stores and just miserable men seated there whose their energy has been entirely depleted. They're just napping on a bench. Yeah, I mean, there's there's zombified men sitting in front of Victoria's Secret and they're not even looking at the at the Victoria's Secret placards. You know something's wrong then when the men are just like. Uh, eyes roll back in their head. Placards. Not even looking at the Victoria placards. We need a new placard. <laughs> okay. I, I, I hate it. I also hate shopping for, I don't know, different, you didn't really say why it depletes your I health. said I don't know why, it just does. It's like, well, it's, I being, know why. I'm being pummeled. I know why, and I have a literal, a literal health issue with, with shopping, and that is, really? when I go to a mall, you inevitably have to walk through one of those department stores, you know, to get into the better part of the mall. Yeah, we're talking like a like a Dillard's or a Belk or a <laughs> Macy's. Yeah. Macy's. Did you're... you say Dillard's? Is that still around? I think so. And um, as soon as I'm in there, I, my my eyes are really sensitive, and they're really sensitive to makeup. And I know what no, you're no, going to say. To perfume, and there's all this perfume in there. And so as soon as I, I get into the department store, and then. By the time I get to the better part of the mall, I, I, I'm like, I look like I'm crying. Yeah, when you leave the department store and you have to pass through like a fog of these women. <laughs> so I, <and> she, <laughs> I don't think they spray it in you your gotta face. Get, they no. spray it on other people. But, but, and you have to look. <laughs> but I think it permeates it. the whole mall because just, you take just it being out. in the mall for 30 minutes or so, I, you can ask my, my wife. She's like, yeah, I can tell. He, I'm going to call her right he's now. You starting, don't do that. But couple that with this. Now, we all know I'm a big man. And usually if I'm at the mall and I'm shopping and I have decided to actually go, it's because I need to get some clothes for myself, right? Um, and okay. I'm very difficult to fit. And this is exactly what happens. I go to a store and I will pick out 
15, I'm not joking. I pick out the, the maximum number of things that you can take into the dressing room. Let's say that's 12 to 15 things, whatever it is. I go into the dressing room. I try on all of them. And there is a 94% chance that not one of them will even fit me. It'll like, like, it'll be like long enough for this and then it'll be like up here on the sleeves. It'll be long enough for here and it'll be like a midriff. You know, that's, and so, that's, your, that's your problem, not and, their problem. And so, and so then I'm just getting mad. I just get mad. I'm like, why can't they fit a tall man? Everybody's not big and tall. Some people are just tall. Where's the tall man store? I start saying things like this. And so, and like the woman's outside of the dressing room, like hearing you. And then, and so now I'm just a man who looks like a, just a depleted soul. I'm crying, first of all, because of the perfume. And then I'm mad and I'm, I just look like a miserable man with my family. So then that's you, what shopping is. So for then me. you sit down in front of the Victoria's Secret. <laughs> I don't eyes, go to sleep. Just, your eyes roll back in your head. Black Friday, people. It, you know, move move through it at your own risk. Yeah, you'll just, Good luck to you. You'll be sitting there crying on a bench. We'll be here when you get back, you know? We'll be waiting for you. You're gonna take part in Cyber Monday? I, I, that depletes me too. Interpretive dance. Whose turn is it? I think it's my turn. To take this we down. leave this one on the wheel because it's, it's so fun. It's Friday. And I look out my window and I see that it's still dark. Oh, I gotta go. I gotta get to Walmart. Gotta get to Walmart. Oh, I'm there. Look at the crowd. It's a sea of angry people. They all want the Wii U. And then the guy comes out and says, Hey, it's not here. The Wii U's not here yet. We'll be here for a couple of months. And then I look into, I look at the woman next to me and I see a Wii U in her purse. Somehow she got one. She's not looking. I'm going to grab it. Oh, she has struck me with her umbrella right in the eye. It hurts so bad. Now I'm crying. Now I'm, now I'm going home.